हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम बैक इन द न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज द न्यू सब टॉपिक ऑफ द रनिंग चैप्टर दैट इज द ट्रांसजेनिक प्लांट विद द बेनिफिशियल ट्रेड्स टूडे यू विल लर्न अबाउट द रोल ऑफ ट्रांसजेनिक प्लांट्स एज ए बायो रिएक्टर और बायो फार्मिंग और मालिकुलर फार्मिंग सो इन दिस चैप्टर और इन दिस सब टॉपिक you will learn how the transgenic plants are useful in improving the quality of the contents like vitamins enzymes proteins amino acids micronutrients as well as macronutrients in food crops like cereals legumes pulses vegetables etc so let us see transgenic plant as a bioreactor or molecular farming now the question is what do you mean by molecular farming or why it is called bioreactor the meaning of bioreactor is that where we can increase the little amount of chemical contents in a very appropriate way so plants are itself a good source of a reactor where we can multiply their chemical contents present in them if they are provided a suitable gene in it so after the entry of the suitable genes what happened that gene will express the protein contents it will increase the protein contents fat contents carbohydrate contents and other micro or macro nutrients of a particular crop plant so the literal meaning of molecular farming is that to increase the mass production of useful chemical substance which is present in a crop plants known as molecular farming or bio reactors why we are applying this technique actually these transgenic plants require very cheap raw materials for making their food but if they are provided or if they are in contact with the good genes and that genes can multiply the concentration of the substance present in them so we use the transgenic plant now what are the purpose of the transgenic plants to use as a bio reactor number 1 is nutrient quality number 1 is nutrient quality as we know that the staple food of india is the cereals that include the rice wheat etc and these nutrients are the good source and they are derived or they are extracted from the cereals legumes roots vegetables fruits etc and what are that source the source of energy is carbohydrate protein fats amino acids like essential amino acids and micro or macro nutrients so these are the value of the nutrients quality which is required for a particular crop plants now the question is why there is need of nutrient quality enhancement that enhancement is required because day by day population is increasing but the area of the diameter of the or could not be increased or we cannot increase the farming area so what strategy should be taken we must apply the genetic engineering to increase the quality of the nutrients in a particular food grains or the cereals so that technique is used to remove the malnutrition you know that today about 20 to 25% of people are not taking the food regularly because of the lack of the food and most of the children are suffering from the malnutrition so it provide the remedy to remove malnutrition by the process called bio fortification how the word coming to the bio fortification is what what is a bio fortification fortification means to increase to increase the chemical substance useful chemical substance present in the crop by the plant breeding program or by the genetic engineering approved so this is removed that is the malnutrition can be removed by the bio fortification of a particular crop plants and what are that by what are that chemical substance that include micro or micronutrients protein carbohydrate fats amino acids etc 
so there are some examples are given here to that is related to the nutrient quality let us see the number one is vitamin a to keeping the vitamin a yeah vitamin a is the good source of the skin and eyes and this vitamin a is developed artificially by the use of transgenic crops and the name is golden rice the name is golden rice why it is called golden rice actually the seed grains of this rice looks like the yellowish color therefore we call it the golden rice because that coating contain beta carotene beta carotene is a pigment which impart yellowish color or golden color to the rice therefore we call it the golden rice color and that golden rice which is a good source of vitamin a and it is a transgenic rice developed by the professor ingo and peter bear by the collaboration of these two scientists golden rice was developed and that is called a transgenic rice and it is a good source of beta carotene why this beta carotene actually this rice have beta carotene which is a precursor of pro vitamin a pro vitamin a when converted into the vitamin a so ultimately the staple food that rice will have good source of vitamin a in its grain so this is the concept to develop why and what are the methods used to develop the golden rice there was three genes were taken out by the plant breeders that is the genetic engineers uh, professor ingo and the peter bear they taken out the three genes and that three genes were incorporated into the endosperm of the rice and as entry of these three genes endosperm of rice is able to produce more pro vitamin a which further comes converted into the vitamin a if it is supplied to the food in our sources so this is the about the vitamin a now keeping this point or keeping these ideas iron containing rice or transgenic iron rice is also produced by applying the three genes apart from that they have developed the brown rice i brown rice is a transgenic rice which contain iron what is the material iron this is the transgenic rice so transgenic rice which is called a brown rice golden rice now the brown rice is having the iron content whereas this golden rice is containing the vitamin a next vitamin e and vitamin k this both vitamin is also useful for the our growth and development and vitamin k is basically used to improve the bone formation and vitamin e is, is uh, essential for our hair's growth skin growth and it work as a antioxidant what is that anti oxidant so this is the use of all these transgenic crops plants now the second protein quality second contents of that nutrient quality is the to increase the protein quality how can we increase the protein quality you must know protein is basically derived from the two sources that is the cereals and legumes cereals and legumes so these are the source of the protein but these two cereals are lack of essential amino acid in it what is essential amino acid there is two type of amino acid essential and non essential amino acid so essential amino acids could not be synthesized by the body they are required from the outside and source from the food or the crops whereas non essential it is synthesized so essential amino acid that is lysine there are 20 amino acid now this 21 is called so out of this 20 amino acid cereals do not have lysine lysine is the amino acid which is lacking cereal similarly methionine and tryptophan is the amino acid which is lacking pulses pulses are lack of the amino acid that is called methionine and tryptophan so how can we buy fortified this 
two serials or the pulses in the serials there is a two approaches number one approach is seed for seed protein quality can be improved by the transfer of trans gene now the gene that coating the particular amino acid or the protein coat is introduced into the endosperm of the particular seed thereafter it enhances the amino acid for example if sulfur containing amino acid want to increase so the gene will be introduced into the endosperm of the <coughs> seed and for example pea plant is taken out so that pea plant is lack with the cysteine and methionine cysteine and methionine is a sulfur containing amino acid so what happened if a protein coding gene if introduced in the seed plant that is the p of a seed plant what happened ultimately it will produce or it will form the formation of this sulfur containing amino acid cysteine and methionine so in this way we can increase the quality protein quality in a seed second approach is that by changing the by modification of endogenous gene suppose wheat rice or pulses for example ananda or soya bean or that pea seeds these are the source of the proteins so if their genes that is, that is the endosperm having some genes and if the genes are transform uh, transform or modified so we have chances to produce a bio fortified crop a bio fortified seeds that have the good quality of the protein contains in them thanks to watching